What's up all my Ewok Struggles droids and Wookiees, it's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and today I'm going to be talking about the continued attack on femininity. Now I've covered this a lot on my channel, so if you're new here, there's a lot of catching up to go on, but uh, I will just give you the very quick breakdown. So it's this common thing in Hollywood with the access media, with the, all of the weirdos out there, that they need to push this agenda that women, the only way a woman can be strong is to basically be a man. That there weren't strong women before, ever, and, you know, to have any kind of femininity to you that basically blocks you from having any kind of strength and from being a strong female character, which apparently none of those existed before. Apparently Xena didn't exist, Ellen Ripley didn't exist, Sarah Connor didn't exist. All of these women didn't exist. Princess Leia... I can go on and on, on the, the very long list of all of these strong women that existed before, but uh, people in Hollywood, the weirdos on Twitter, they've never seen these movies and they didn't watch TV shows, so they don't know about any of those characters. And so they decide to go and die on this hill that, hey, let's take a woman and let's make her strong. Because apparently she wasn't before. Apparently Peggy uh, was not intelligent and didn't get to the rank that she was in the military on her own. She didn't use her brain, apparently, you know, now. But so basically what's going on is that Disney is doing this show, The What Ifs, on Disney+. Plus, Which is fine, they did that in comics and they were actually pretty popular. And it's, you know, a what if scenario. So this scenario is, what if Peggy got the super serum instead of Steve. And so she became Captain America or Captain Britain because Peggy is British. And so they released this promotional image. And I was like, oh, look, it's like clockwork. What do I see here? It's a dude's body with Peggy's head on it because they don't understand how the super serum works. It's almost as if they don't know that there's been female characters that have gotten the super serum before and it doesn't change your body from a woman's to a man's. Kind of crazy how that works when you actually know things about what you're talking about, right? But these people, do, they don't know that. They don't read comics. They don't actually look at the source material of the stuff that they own that they're trying to market to the fan. Well, they actually told the entire fan base to go fuck off. So I, they're trying to cater to these weirdos on Twitter that don't buy anything and probably don't pay for individual Disney Plus accounts. Maybe mommy and daddy might have gotten it for them, but that's really pushing it there. Because guess what? Once it's on the internet, once it's on streaming, yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's life for me, which probably all of these kids uh, utilize. So they're probably not making much money off of this. But this is the hill that they want to die on. They've done it with She-Hulk, which I've done plenty of videos on that if you guys want to go check them out. They just recently, the most popular one I think that they've that, that actually, the one that everyone's talking about right now is what they did to Tila. They took two very classically feminine characters and they basically turned them into dudes. And each time, again, not understanding what made these characters so great and so iconic. With She-Hulk, it's they don't understand the way gamma radiation works and they want to die on this. So they're like, Ree! she got more Bruce's blood in her. So that's why she looks more like him. And it's like, you don't understand how gamma radiation works because if she had more of that gamma radiated infected blood in her, she would be even more feminine. You want you want to understand why Tila is strong? Well, guess what? Her mother is the fucking sorceress. If she spent less time at the gym and, you know, drinking those protein shakes and she used her fucking brain, she would have figured out that Adam was He-Man. But no, they they basically made her more yoked than what fucking uh, Dolph that played uh, He-Man in the fucking movie. She's more yoked than half the fucking dudes in real life. That is so unbelievably unrealistic. And they want to go off, well, women have unrealistic body standards. There's nothing more unrealistic than having, you know, women now look like men as an unrealistic body standard for women. So again, I don't understand why they want to die on this hill, but that's really what they're going after. And so when I saw this with Peggy, it's like, I spent years in art school studying and drawing anatomy. This is a man's body. And then I even did this over on Procreate to help illustrate because these people need illustrations. People need to look at pictures. A lot of people are visual learners, which is fine. I get it. That's why when you go and buy stuff from Ikea, it's all pictures and it shows you how to do things. It's like you remove the hair, you remove the makeup. This is a boy. 
I did a further illustration where it's like, look, this is a boy. This is the original. This is a boy. Just bring in the shoulders because the way men are, the, the way men's anatomy works is, guess what? Men are like inverted triangles. They have broader shoulders, smaller hips because guess what? Men don't have to have babies. Women are the opposite. Our hips are wider. We are, it, you know, our shoulders are, uh, you know, uh, taper, a little bit tapered in, closer together, and our hips are much wider. So we are just a regular triangle because guess what? What do women have to do? Have babies. Women have to shove babies out of their bodies. What do they need to be able to have to do that? Wider hips to shove a human out of their body. So yes, men and women are physically and biologically different. So when I see this, this is a man. This whole people going, and she has a super serum You're stupid! We're gonna tell you to go touch grass! We're gonna tell you you have internalized misogyny! We're gonna say all these terrible things about you, Ray, and go off on you on Twitter! And it's like, eh, the ratio isn't really working because people that follow me, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure the 42,000 people that follow me on Twitter tend to follow me because they like what I have to say and they, you know, are interested in my opinion. And me pointing out these very simple things that I don't think I should have to be pointing out because I thought a majority of the population had common sense, which apparently I was wrong, but it's like, it's, it's not fucking rocket science. Women have been injected with a super serum before, and this is one thing that these weirdos do, which they constantly move the goalpost. It's like, they want to yell at me because, Anna, she's injected with the super serum! You're stupid for posting this! Ray! And then it's like, okay, you want to bring the super serum up? Well, this is what a woman looks like that's been injected by the super serum. And they're like, Ray, you're resorting to using comics? Oh my god, you're so stupid. We're not talking about the comics. And it's like, but you just tried to use the comics and the super serum to prove your point. It, it doesn't prove your point. It It's completely pointless arguing with these people. But... Again, it, it blows my mind that this is the hill that they want to die on because when I grew up, the way to be a strong woman, and the best illustration I can use for this because a lot of these people are kids and they probably don't, you know, watch movies, so I could go all in about Ellen Ripley, which again, is a, a woman that, why does she survive? Oh yeah, because she uses this thing inside of her head called a brain. Why do a lot of these women that, you know, are famous for being strong strong women and, you know, strong female role models is because they use this little thing called a brain. Why is Princess Leia able to stand up in front of Darth Vader and watch her planet get destroyed? Oh yeah, she's got this thing called a fucking brain. She's not gonna arm wrestle Darth fucking Vader. She's able to get by in life and be at the position she is because she uses her fucking brain. So if you go and watch the movie, the Disney animated movie Mulan, absolutely fantastic fantastic movie. And when you watch the scene where Shang is singing, I'll make a man out of you, does Mulan become a man in that scene? No. But guess what Mulan does do? She's able to do the thing that no man can do, which is climb up the pole and get the arrow. And you know how she does that? She doesn't do that by bulking up. She does that by using her brain. Bam! Mind fucking blown, right? So... Again, I understand that this is a what-if concept, but Peggy got to the position that she was in because she used this thing inside her head called a brain, right? She is extremely intelligent, which, guess what, is a fucking strength. You don't need to be able to lift the most weight to be the most powerful person in the room. Most of the time, the most dangerous person in the room is both going to be the most intelligent person in the room. And so, yes, again, even though she's injected with a super serum... That doesn't make, you know, me looking at a woman's head on a man's body doesn't make me think of female empowerment. Again, they want to talk about unrealistic body standards for women. This is the most unrealistic standard that you can implement on women. And if you want to show this to young kids and little girls, you are going to give them such bad, you know, body, you know, images and uh, what, what is it called? Body dysmorphia, or I'm probably using the wrong words, but at this point, it's like, you really want them to make make a little kid, a little girl feel self-conscious? Make her think that the only way for her to be strong is to look like a man. Because then she's gonna have to, what, start taking testosterone. 
right? Because it's going to be very hard for a woman to bulk up like that. Go watch any documentary, go watch any interview with a female bodybuilder, and she's going to tell you how fucking tough it is to get in shape like that. And if you want to be a female bodybuilder, Build her more fucking power to you. You go out there and you do that. But if you're just going to talk about the majority of women, I think it's more empowering to teach little girls, and heck, little boys too, that if you really want to be taken seriously and be the most powerful person you can be, the tool, the way to do that is not by lifting weights. It's by exercising your mind and growing as intelligent as you can possibly be because then your entire world is completely limitless, right? I mean, eventually you are going to get old, regardless of the super serum because that doesn't exist in real life. Muscle doesn't last forever, and yes, neither does your brain, but your brain's going to last a lot longer than your biceps are. So, again, I don't know why this whole let's take away anything feminine away from a woman and make her as manly as possible is the narrative that they're trying to push and the hill that they're trying to die on. And all of these weirdos losing their mind about me on Twitter, again, it just shows, it, it just makes me lose even less faith I had in humanity because it's like, what are you guys doing? It's like, I'm just a stranger on the internet, but if you're going to get triggered by my opinion, I mean, it says more about you than it does about me at this point. Anyways, everyone... I just wanted to let you guys, I just wanted to talk about this, let you guys know about all of this stuff and what's going on. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section below. If you like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. If you didn't, that's okay. Thank you so much for watching this far through. And if you haven't already, uh, you know, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. And until next time, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. Hey everyone, if you'd like to help support the channel, check out my Etsy, where I sell prints of my original oil paintings and drawings that range from horror villains, heroes, and your favorite Star Wars characters. I also have an art channel uh, where I post time lapses and tutorials, and also if you want to see work in progresses, I also have an Instagram dedicated specifically to that. Then finally, you can check out my Teespring, for wearable merch and all platforms are listed down below in the description of this video. So thank you so much everyone and have a great rest of your day.